Poland are the reigning World Cup champions and they've got plenty of support here at the Norfolk Arena as they take to the track. It's the World, it's the world Cup, you know, There's no one's going to let no one go easy. in front to him all feel for him a little bit there. Ty Wuffington was involved in plenty of drama, lost control of the motorbike and was excluded from the restart. He wasn't happy with it because he claimed that he had tyre marks on his left arm, lost control of the bike though and the referee Chris Gardell immediately put the exclusion light on. <laughs> Nichols came hard up the inside, but Darkin held his line and proved to be a very, very tough customer. Heat number six and more drama, Lucas Dribble in the thick of it, made a good start and inexplicably just lost control of the motorbike. Excluded from the restart, three riders only. Not the best of nights so far for the Czech Republic rider. Nichols puts his front wheel right up on the inside. It's dusty on that concrete there. Momentarily, the front wheel washes out and he can't save it as he goes across that first corner. Disaster strikes there for Scott Nichols middle edge. You can see the reaction says it all. Britain tie whopping it in blue. His miserable night continued when he brought on Alice Dribble. The blue exclusion light was on. On the inside, the door is closed again. Gollum goes outside. Harris has got some drive. Down to the line. Oh! oh! Harris, what a ride that was. I fancy he's just stolen that away from Gollum on the run to the line. Fabulous stuff. Neil Middleditch putting his captain in there against the world champion and it prevails. Golub, you know, he was nervous out in front, did not have enough speed, made a couple of nasty moves, to be perfectly honest, to slam the door shut. Was he out of order? A little bit out of order at high speed. But look at this on the run to the line. It wasn't pulled back. He allows the bike to run round mid-corner, drives out of there, lifts oh. and bangs into the bottom of the fence, all out of shape. Look at this from Pivotny. That is incredible for him to react to get the bike down, because that could have been an awful lot worse. That's what happened right at the very start, first time of asking, and the referee, Chris Gardell, decided that all four riders could go back in the restart, but that is the type of incident where you wow, can break bones untidy. in your feet, and thankfully they've all got away with it.